Okay, let me prop up in my chair, man. I got to get myself situated. Uh, but we are here, JV Wins, Dogon SS, Conscious Approach, live stream number, fill in the blank. I still need to do that count. I don't know how many live streams we've done, but as soon as I sit down and do that count, I'm going to announce it at the top of every broadcast. But shouts out to everybody who's tuning in, man. We are here, as always, kicking that logical content, Conscious Approach on YouTube. Thanks to all of the uh, supporters. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, following along, watching the videos. We most certainly appreciate you. Uh, shouts out to the Denver Nuggets, man. Um, you know, doing right, <laughs> doing right in the world. Uh, you know, establishing order and balance by yes. dispatching the Lakers for the second <laughs> year in a row. Um, very happy with that outcome. Glad that those guys got their ass sent home. Um, so thanks to the Denver Nuggets, uh, the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves in the next round should be pretty exciting. Um, Agreed. I'll be watching, you know, they mm -hmm. talk about how, you know, casual fans may not be too interested, but I'll be watching cause that is going to be pretty exciting. Should be a pretty good series. So, um, shouts out to the Denver Nuggets and shouts out to everybody who's been subscribing to the Conscious Approach channel on YouTube, man. We certainly appreciate you. Uh, with that out of the way, we are going to go ahead and get started with tonight's commentary. First thing that we are going to touch on is uh, uh, Adrian Broner. Uh, anybody who follows MMA, uh, Adrian Broner is big on the MMA slash boxing scene, or at least he was. He's kind of old news at this point uh he know he's known more for being a viral content person nowadays just kind of going live on instagram and various other places just to kind of expound on whatever it is that he wants to talk about whatever he may be feeling at the time and uh it just so happened that uh he recently had to get on his phone to talk about how the price for uh what's a good way to say this you know, to ensure that YouTube doesn't uh, deprioritize this video. Um, he he is disenchanted with how expensive it has become to be in the company of a woman these days. Uh -huh. um, so uh, <laughs> he uh, he is so disenchanted by this that he hopped on to, a, it looks like he was on, he went on Instagram or something. I don't know what he was on, but the video went semi-viral, picked it up on Worldstar. And he's just saying that, hey, man, these prices for these women nowadays are too high. Uh, you know, and they've become so high and outrageous, in fact, that it's almost like you should be able to claim them on your taxes. So uh, uh, <laughs> Adrian Broner, man, um, he's been known to be a flamethrower on, on, on the Internet and social media from time to time. I would say that this is no different. Uh, this is content that is within the wheelhouse, certainly, of what we like to talk about on this channel. Um, very, very short clip here, not very long, about 30 seconds or so, um, where Broner is kind of briefly expounding on um, what he feels has become a bit too expensive of, of, of an aspect of, of, of his life, I guess. Uh, you know, paying for women, paying to be with women, has become too expensive. So we'll go ahead and play this clip. And it will, of course, give our two cents on what Broner had to say once it is over. Then I woke up disappointed. Because pussy is at an all-time high right now, bro. The prices that these bitches is giving now is crazy, bro. After a year for paying for pussy, you 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 got to be able to, to take this shit off on taxes because this, these pieces are getting crazy. <laughs> so he, he's not with it, man. These prices are uh, are getting crazy. After a year doing it, you should be able to claim them. Um, I have a few thoughts on this. A lot of this for me has just become straight up confusion. I quite frankly, I just don't understand this anymore. But um, I'll let you give your initial thoughts on, on on how you feel about the state of affairs and what Broner had to say about the price for a uh, box uh, being just simply too high nowadays. 
Uh, it's I'm with you in the fact that it's a, a bit confusing, uh, especially for somebody that's in the world that he's in, uh, the type of uh, money he's touched over his career. You know, I would assume that he would leverage that uh, money, notoriety, and status to acquire a woman on, you know, normal standards, you know, a, an everyday woman. Or a celebrity chick that you're just wifing down. The fact that these guys are paying, at least from the Zion example, you know, 20k a pop. Uh, I mean, this is this is outrageous numbers. Yeah, of course. And if you're paying, you know, over the year, you know, you got her on a, um, you know, on retainer, and so you're you're paying monthly stipends so she can slide through. Uh, that adds up as well. So yeah, I would I would assume that you know after twelve months you would say that hey man I, you know I I've, I shelled out or uh, you know half a million in some cases I would assume uh, three hundred thousand in some cases you know for one female over the course of the year yeah you might want to write that off. So I get where he's coming from in aspect of you know where is all my money going, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, let, let, let me at least put this as a deductible, you know. So I, I get that aspect, but uh, no, uh, I think you deserve to throw that money in the black hole, no pun intended, into that uh, that portal where you don't deserve to get that money back or claim it or any of that. Um, you know, this is part of the game, I would say. So if you want to participate and you want to play and, and live in that world, yeah, hey, you got to pay the cost. And right now, yeah. A vagina's at an all-time high. I mean, inflation's, uh, in you know, it's crazy. I've seen some uh, TikTok videos where people are just doing casual shopping at certain locations and, and things like uh, tweezers and fingernail clippers, you know, at, at convenience store locations type thing, but, you know, not at a major chain, but still just outrageous, $16, $17, $20 for tweezers. So uh, you're looking at these girls who uh, get BBLs, and he, this is the type of woman he's dealing with. So the ones mm -hmm. that get BBLs, the ones that get uh, all kinds of uh, cosmetic things done to them and their hair and all of this other stuff. They want to go on trips. They want to go to Dubai. You know, they want to do all of that and all of that costs. And so the price of everything's gone up. So their premium has gone up. So uh, something has to give. But it sounds like he doesn't sound like he wants to give up the lifestyle. It sounds like he just wants a break. Uh, I think the message here is for him to give up the lifestyle, but I don't think he's quite received that uh, yet, at least. Uh, so those are just initial thoughts, man. I'm I'm charging it to the game for this guy and anybody else that wants to play it. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Mr. Broner uh, upset that the cost of cat has gone way too high? Do you think that he has the ability to, and I'm going to beat a dead horse because I'm going to bring up things that I've said before. But do you think that he has the ability to get women without having to literally pay for it like it's a transaction at a store? No, nah, he lame, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> he got to pay. Listen, man. So, hey, when you got sauce, you get it for free. And so this dude here, I mean, if it's, if it's gotten to the point where he's in his bed after spending 20, 30,000 last night going, man, the, the price for this is going too much. No, nah, bro, you just lame. So yeah. uh, that's what I got to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my I just what I don't understand. Like, so is there a correlation between being a celebrity entertainer, pro athlete person with money and being lame? Is there a correlation between those two things? Hey, because what, I, what, what I'm getting, I know, I know, I know what I'm getting. <laughs> what I'm getting at is this seems to be the norm. Mm hmm. Based on the stories that we've covered on this channel and many more of the stories that we know of that we have not talked about on this channel, either my interpretation of the way things are supposed to go when you actualize in life and make it to the top has been wrong. So either all, e either it's one of two things. Mm -hmm. These guys are getting to this point, but there's a direct correlation between their level of success and being inherently lame. Or two, everything that I've always thought in life was supposed to come as a result of success, I've had the wrong interpretation on that. No, 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 no. 
because my what I've always believed growing up was you work hard, you put in the work, you become successful, and then you reap certain benefits as a result of the hard work that you put in. If you're a guy, one of those benefits that you're able to reap because you've been able to self-actualize, um, you know, fortunately for you, one of those benefits is going to be women. Women from the standpoint that I can get whatever woman I want without it having to be a direct transaction, as if I'm going to the mall to buy a new suit. Like, this isn't the same because one of the specious arguments that people will make when it comes to this stuff is, well, you always pay for it. You take a woman out on a date, right? You buy her gifts, right? You do this, you do that. Well, you're paying for it. Listen, let's all be reasonable when it comes to this conversation. We know that there is a difference between that and what Broner is talking about. What Broner is talking about is literal transactions. What Broner is talking about is literally I went to the cat house and made my selections and paid my and, and swiped my credit card and that's what and that's how I get down these days and what what's frustrating with me with these guys is you don't what I don't understand is me being broke boy and I'm not literally broke I'm just saying generally speaking me being a broke boy who hasn't earned the right to operate in those ways and move in those circles. Maybe I should be the one who's so lame and down and out that I got to pay for it. I'm a broke boy. I'm not successful. I'm anonymous. If I've gotten to the point where I've self-actualized and I'm in the top 10%, and I don't know what Broner's net worth is, but I'm just saying it's way more than the average person for sure. If I've gotten to the point where I've self-actualized and I've made it to a certain pinnacle of success and I'm able to reap all of these benefits in life, mm -hmm. I shouldn't be moving in ways that intrinsically tell that ways, ways in which intrinsically I believe someone in my position should be moving. I always thought that when I reach the point of success, the women come to me. I don't have to put in work or do anything. I can just get it off a of GP straight up. You would but think. You would think, right? But apparently, <laughs> apparently, I have had the wrong interpretation on that this whole time. And apparently, the way it goes is you work hard, you become successful, you reach a point of self-actualization, and you start to actually pay to be in the company of women. And that, to me, is some sad shit. Like, these guys don't have to do this. They don't have to. Zion doesn't have to be paying $20,000 a month to slay a chick who makes adult films. He doesn't have to. Now, his culture may have impressed upon him that that's what he should be doing, but it didn't have to be that way. He didn't have to be doing that. These other guys who are living like this, you don't have to do that. Perhaps it's a matter of convenience, but my overall point is you're a star and a rich man. You can get, you can get boxed for convenience without having to actually without having to actually be transactional you could if you just made if you just put in minimal minimal effort it seems like that is just gone the element of that has completely disappeared and what we are seeing is it is completely and utterly transactional in all facets whether you're successful or not and the people at the top are setting the market for this stuff so why shouldn't the women acquiesce? I don't blame the women at all. The women are just saying, hey, if that's what it, if that's what you're giving out, then we'll take it. If you don't give it out, then they'll have to adjust. But they're giving it out. So I just don't get it. I don't get it. Am I destined as someone who fully believes that at some point within the next five to ten years, there's a decent enough chance that with the hard work that I'm putting in, I can start to approach top 10% status. If I am, if I just so happen to still be single by the time that this actually happens, am I destined to be someone who is actually going to have to literally pay to be in the company of women um, as if I was going to the store to buy, as if I was going to a car dealership to buy a new car? I'm serious. Now, am I going to be in that situation? No, because I have lived my life for almost 40 years having to work to, to having to work put in the work, having to develop and work on my social skills. 
uh, so that I can actually be appealing to women. I've had to work and be in the gym so that physically I can be at a position where I feel that I am at my utmost confidence level to be able to appeal to women as best I can. So I've been living this way for so long. Money is not going to take that out of me. So if we're talking about me personally, no, I don't see that in my future. But this isn't about me. I'm just one individual. It's about everybody else. And it's about the way that these uh, course of actions appear to be going in. And what it seems to me is the harder you work, the more you have to pay for this. When I always thought it was the reverse, I always thought the harder you work and the more successful you become, the easier this is and the less you have to pay. <laughs> Leave it up to leave, leave it up to guys like me to have to beg for with money because I'm a broke boy. You self actualize. You shouldn't have to do that. That I, I feel like there's a part of it. You know, in terms of core values, I really do feel like that's the way it should go. But it's actually flipped, and it goes the up and it goes in the opposite direction. Um, I don't get it, man. Um, this to me is weird, goofy stuff. I can't even call it new human behavior because this is just the wave 40, 50, 60 year old men who have made it to the pinnacle of success are moving in this way. Um, and they're approaching women. It's not like they're looking at women who are escorts or strippers or chicks who make adult films or chicks who do only fans. And they're saying, Hey, I'll pay for it. They're just generally approaching how they go about retaining the company of women period in life from the standpoint of how much is this going to cost me? Not from the standpoint, I'm willing to take you out on dates or pay for gifts, but literally how much do you cost? You know, like they're, they're, they're a literal good and service. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's weird. Uh, weird old times that we are living in for sure. Personally, I don't understand it. Um, I've always thought that the more successful I become, the easier it is and the cheaper it is because I'm me. I don't have to pay. I like in this equation, you're benefiting off of being with me because I'm me. So who stands to gain more from this? You, you're with me. So really you should be paying me. <laughs> not, not, the other way, not the other way around. Because I'm the one who's actually self-actualized here. You're just another dime a dozen woman who looks good, probably with a surgically enhanced body. So in this, so when we factor in this equation, when we put this equation into the SPSS formula system, <laughs> it's coming out with me being with me being like the greater prize here and you being the beneficiary. I'm not the beneficiary, you are. I'm the star. But these guys don't seem to see it that way. Uh, they don't seem to see it that way. I don't understand it. It bewilders me. It really does. Um, and I often talk about the trickle-down effect because I really do feel like the more and more things like this become normalized, the more that everyday women are walking around with a literal price tag attached to them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what makes me nervous. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom and suggest that that's happening on a wide scale, but I am also suggesting it will at some point be what is happening on a wide scale. So uh, I just don't get it. Uh, but it, it couldn't be me. I couldn't be a millionaire paying a woman to be with me. Uh, if anything, you're going to be paying me because you're benefiting from this more than I am. Um, I'm the one who has self-actualized and you are merely just the woman who gets to sleep with me. Um, but I, I guess I look at life a bit too practically. So maybe, the, maybe I'm the fool for that. Well, I mean, a person's self-image is developed at a young age and whatever they thought of themselves at that young age, it does a good job of reminding that individual of that all the time. And so people grow up, if they grew up a duck, a lame or something like that, um, you know, he, he probably internalizes the fact that, oh, I'm a duck, I'm a lame, I have to prove myself. I'm a duck, I'm a lame, I gotta prove myself. And the thing is with, with Bronner, you know, he got into boxing, you know, you know, that was a nice little chip on the shoulder. I mean, I, it, not chip on the shoulder, but like a good, um, you know, good esteem type of thing. You would figure somebody that knows how to whoop people ass, he would carry himself with a lot more self-confidence. But uh, people's uh, internal thoughts 
you know, you never know what they have going on. And he has done a, a number of lame things throughout his entire career. Um, he's a person that I've s- heard more of his antics than any of his fights. Yeah. Like you said, he's always going viral and all this other stuff. He's a weird person. And so he grew up weird and he just so happened to box. So him boxing and getting confidence in that zone, I don't think that that actually helped that lameness that he had before he actually got into boxing. And so he carries that lamery with him throughout his whole life while he goes viral for other things and and lame things. Uh, and so this one, no different. Uh, you know, you, you don't look clean by saying this, bro. You don't you don't seem like a baller. You don't seem like somebody that's out here crushing it in life when you're literally laying in a bed pretty much you spent something with a comment in it last night, you know, and you feeling like a duck. And so you decide to air it out, you know, try to make it funny or something talking about writing it off on your taxes. But that pain that you felt, you had to let people know. And that's the downside of living such a life. Those girls vampirically, you know, take your money, take your seed, you know, even if it's in a condom, you're wasting it. So take your money, take your seed, and then vanish. No <laughs> emotional attachment, all that laughing and kikiing before it actually went down and ended immediately as soon as you finish busting, and she's out of there. You know, oh, you could pay extra for her to spend a night. You know, but in the morning, she's gone. She ain't going to make your breakfast, bro. <laughs> if you do, you're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> So how lame can it be? So that and how and how I don't care how much money you got and how uh, big her rear end is. Uh, it's not worth it. And so that pain that he felt. Yeah, he had to he had to go live. He had to let his constituents know that, hey, man, the price for this vagina is, is getting too much before I can spend this money and feel no type of way about it. But again, the economy is catching everybody. And so. He's not getting a bang for his buck anymore. This used to be like, ah, you know, satisfying that itch. Yeah. But it's not it's satisfying like, uh, that itch no more. Yeah, it's like uh it's like the bag of potato chips. They used to fill the bag all the way up to the top. Now when you go to the store, you paying five dollars more and you're getting half a bag of chips. Yeah, you're getting yeah. He, he, it sounds like he's upset because now he's only getting a half a bag of chips. Yeah, he's not he, what well, he didn't care because the chip he would. The chips were so affordable back then. He would just buy chips. And I don't care that these bags aren't filling. But now it's like, hey, man, I got to, you know, spend this money. And I just, wait, well, I spent this much on a bag of chips. And ain't that much in here. It's like, yeah, it never was. <laughs> it was nothing in those chips. But then now you're paying for it. Now that, ta- that tag is higher. Now you're thinking about this, like, what's really in these bags? Nothing. Yeah. And that, you yeah. know. So that's yeah. your fault for going down that rabbit hole and deciding to go grocery shopping in a convenience store. That's your fault, bro. At the corner stores at, at, at damn 7-Eleven trying to find you a wife, you know? And so, nah, bro, you're not going to get a wholesome meal there. So, yeah, man, so he's feeling the pain, man. It, it, it hit him, you know, no pun intended for this guy. But, you know, he, he really felt like, damn, I, you know, what, what part of the game is this? But yeah, man, nothing can nothing can replace lameness, man. And so we've seen, bro, uh, in a, in the case of the, the Meek Mills and the whoever else, even that you're on, you got status. Like literally, bro, they have women DMing them, super bad too. But they just not no IG model. You know, she's she's really like a raw stone that has been yet to been refined. But mm-hmm. give 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 that girl in that DM the same type of whatever treatment these dudes are into and she'll pop out just as bad as a, the girl with a hundred thousand followers, but they don't see it that way. And they, they rather, that's the part about it. I don't get it. What is it? A status thing? Oh, I smashed her too. Like, Oh yeah. I, you know, why do they want these, these Insta women's? It's super confusing. It's, it's very confusing. You know, I, I just think it's a lame thing. So um, it's best for me to just write it off at, at that. Than me to try to get in the mind of Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> so hey man, hey best of luck to you, Mister Adrian. Man, he's a he's a weird dude anyway. Man, at least he was paying for vagina. <laughs> you know this guy, he's got some sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good. Yeah, I guess if there's a consolation prize, at least it's, it's vagina. <laughs> 
<laughs> at least his vagina that he's paying for. I guess that's a good consolation prize. I just don't understand it, man. Um, I, th this is going to be one of those things that until the end of time, I'm just confused by. But I also grew up having to develop adequate social skills. I didn't grow up tunnel. And maybe he grew up tunnel. He never had to do it, you know, Tiger Woods style, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but, you know, at, at least with Tiger, what, like what Tiger was doing was Tiger was just saying, oh, here's this cocktail waitress or this server chick or this flight attendant, you know, they used to call them stewardesses. Oh, let me, you know, let me get this woman off of me being Tiger Woods. And it is what it is. Broner is literally paying for women. Yeah. Like, like he's going to a car dealership and paying and buying a car. And, and he, he, and there are many other like him in that same position who really do view their relation to women as a matter as in a manner of, 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 of a transaction uh, to the point where it's literally like a woman has a price tag. And like I said before, as as vampirically as these women operate, they're also not idiots. If a guy is willing to pay them $50,000 just to spread Eagle, they're not going to think twice about that. <laughs> you know, this thing is becoming common practice. Yeah. It's just, you don't have to do it. Like the tone of his voice in that video, his frustration over how much it costs suggests to me that to him, if he were to have it his way, it wouldn't cost as much. Right. And my, my response to that is, bro, you don't have to be paying any of it. You don't. Whether he realizes it or not, he doesn't have to be paying any of it. And, and it just seems like there's no modicum of success that can show these guys that the balance of power that they are throwing completely off whack by t attaching these ridiculous monetary values to these women's boxes is really throwing off. <laughs> it's throwing off the balance of power when it comes to men and women. It really is. And you are inordinately placing a ridiculous valuation on something that shouldn't be as expensive as you're making it. <laughs> and in the process of doing that, you're making it worse for all the rest of the men in the world. That's what people like him need to understand. But, you know, guys like that don't get it because if they got it, they're going to keep spending it. So him, Zion, everybody else, James Harden, they don't give a damn. They can keep spending it, not knowing how much they are devaluing their own worth by doing this on a regular basis. It really is sad. And it perpetuates the notion of men becoming increasingly weak over time. It does. And we are. We look like weak slaves to vagina. I say it all the time. Not that we, I love vagina. I love it. I appreciate it every day I wake up. Every day I wake up in the morning, I get on my knees and I thank the Lord for the existence of vagina. <laughs> every day I wake up. Every, every, day the, every day in the morning, I wake up, I get on my knees and I thank the Lord that vagina exists. But I am also not going to place an inordinate valuation on it, juxtaposed to who I am as a human. They don't deserve it, nor do I deserve to devalue myself that way. And these right. guys out here are constantly devaluing themselves, and they wonder why the women don't respect them. That's why, bro. Why should they? All you care about is spending the money. There's no respect that comes with that. This is a transaction. It's business. I don't need to respect you in business. I just need to know how much you're willing to pay. So I personally hate this with a passion. I don't hate Broner because he's just a product of whatever weirdo environment he comes from. But I hate this whole dynamic. I, I, I despise it because it is becoming increasingly more pervasive. Um, and the, the, the concern that I have is that over time we are going to start seeing pretty much all women. Because I already hear it. Like I already hear you know, women in proximity to me, it doesn't matter where, you know, if I go to any social place, I go to a bar, I've heard, I've heard all kinds of crazy stuff that I just don't react to because I can hear it. You mm -hmm. know, I've heard women talking in public venues, bars, clubs, lounges, wherever I might be, professional sporting events. And I hear these chicks talking about how much they cost. 
And, and so there is a trickle down effect that is occurring with this kind of thought process. And idiots like Broner set the tone for that. And that's what makes it so disappointing because men are supposed to be leading this operation rather than following spending money. And that's what we got going on. Hey, man, you know, just find you one that, you know, and this is for everybody, man. You know, if you still out there in the market and because, yeah, you're right. There is a trickle down effect where, you know, there's a, a worth attached to their vagina. So, you know, it's the, the amount of dates or how much you spent on a date uh, like that stuff's getting factored into some type of uh, uh, formula, some equation for them to, you know, let you smash in X amount of days or what. I don't know what's going on right now. It's a little weird out there. And so um, but just fellas, man, just get you somebody that's not in the Matrix. Uh, they don't they don't subscribe yeah they don't subscribe to the matrix like they can see this too basically you know they're a real person you know they're not trying to follow the joneses or, or trying to do what everybody else do you know it's too much uh, people getting caught up in the aesthetics of things and if you find yourself uh self with you know interacting with somebody that's caught up in the aesthetics you know uh next month when they start jumping off a bridge she's gonna start talking like that you know, she ain't gonna say let's jump, but she's gonna try to enter you. Hey, you ever heard of that bridge over there on uh damn, but you you really going for this too? Like, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, you met her when she was on trends. She's gonna develop, she's gonna catch on to the new trends that's catching on while y'all together. So you're best off by dealing with somebody that's not in the matrix at all. They can see it with the they live lenses as you, and you just call it out and go, Hey man, you know, this I got me one that understands the dynamics. Now we can get to business. Now, yeah. now the hard part really starts, you know, but, you know, if you can't even get over that hump, you dealing with somebody that's caught up in the Joneses wins, you know, then, um, you know, you, you, your, your relationship can go any type of direction. So, yeah, man, uh, I agree, man. It's a trickle down effect, but just get you somebody that's not in the matrix. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yo, uh, um, shouts out to, shouts out to Dudley, man. Uh, mm. Dudley said, "Bro, can't be mad at the cost of V when he is one of the ones that set the market." Yes, yeah. that, that is that is correct. That's absolutely. He, that he, does he, make you look. It makes you look a bit like a a, a fool for sure. Yeah, he's uh, pump. He's pumping up the market. The artificial. He pump. Yeah, he's he part is. of. It. Yes, he is. He's flooding the street. <laughs> he's flooding the streets with stepped on product. That's what he's doing. <laughs> um, you know, I've I've never had an issue with general proceedings you know what i'm saying i drop drop money if i gotta spend a couple hundred dollars on a nice dinner you know we you know i'm saying i'm we're enjoying each other's companies but there's a level of humanity that comes along with that kind of general proceeding but when you just cut everything out and you skip straight to the transaction of it all there's no humanity there and without humanity there's no respect and without respect what do you got you're just paying to be able to skeet off for one night and then you're going to have to pay again and then pay again and then pay again. I mean, good luck, bro. I, I just I can't stand it. Um, so uh, I am not going to shout out Broner for the content as much as I appreciate having the content because <laughs> he doesn't deserve the shout out. He deserves to go to therapy and understand his worth so that he can realize that he does not have to pay to be in the company of women. Facts. Hey, don't don't promote this part of the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be trying to get right out here. You you out here promoting the foolishness. So you can yeah. take a hike, Mister uh, Mister Adrian. We're not we're not yes, buying that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to go. <laughs> you need to go sit down, sir. You really do. Um, we do not endorse that here on Conscious Approach. <laughs> <laughs> I know he paid too. <laughs>